Hello everyone, this is Kevin, and I'm going to be reviewing today for you the Prime One Studios, in collaboration with Blitzway, quarter scale Ellen Ripley statue. So let's do it. We're going to start right at the bottom of the base. You see there's some piping there. The piping is all very nicely weathered. And we're going to spin this around. And that's the first part of the lighting feature, right on the corner of the statue. And again, there's really great weathering all around this piece. Um, you have a little alien goo that's dripping off the sides of the base. You do need to be very careful with those. They are extremely fragile. Um... There we go. This is actually the battery compartment that lights up the statue right in here. This just pulls off. Nicely done. Okay, and then we come around to the back of the statue and it starts with this piping, uh, this railing rather. And the railing is actually metal. It is really well done. One of the best parts of the statue is actually this railing. Um, you can see as I get closer here, it really looks very real, very realistic take on this railing. See, look like at this corner. Let's see if I can get this to focus here. See this corner piece, look at that. This really looks real, very realistic, and real metal. So, nice job on that. We'll come around here. On the other side, more plain on the other side, but you don't really see it. There's some minor lighting, um, duller lighting on the bottom there with some wiring, which is fine. This is the, um, this button actually uh, lights up the statue, so it's easy access to light it. It's, um, it's three batteries, I believe they're AAA, three AAA batteries to light it up. So next we're going to, I'm going to see if I can get this lighting effect down the statue it really is yeah there you could see it really does give the effect um, that it's down many many levels uh, it's a really nice feature of this uh, just something extra it's really really well done and you could see the acid for blood effect on the metal grate that has burned right through so, really, really nice effect there, done by Blitzway. Okay. So next we'll um, focus in there on Ripley's sneaker, which again is really well done. It's your name there. Uh, weathering is really on point. Very realistic. We'll go to her other shoe, Ripley again. See the front? Nice job. Okay, so we're going to... Um, going up, this is a mixed media piece. So the pants and the shirt are um, fabric. Which again, to me, just makes it more realistic. It's really well done. Real working zippers. Um, real working zipper there. The pants are um, not as weathered as the sneakers and the t-shirt that you'll see in a moment. Um, but they're nicely done. They're just not as weathered. Okay, coming up. You'll see her hand holding the pulse rifle. Really nice vein work there on the hands and the arms. The rifle and the flamethrower are really well done. They are extremely light. 
though. They are not heavy, they are not metal, they are just very light plastic. But they're painted pretty well um, to give them a realistic look. I actually think the lightness of the uh, two pieces is intentional to make it not um, pull on her arms. So I think that's actually a good thing. She's got her watch on. And again, the um, skin tone is really nicely done, which is typical of uh, Prime 1 and Blitzway. Very realistic, very nice skin tone. Just looks very real. There's her pouch. Okay, getting up to the t-shirt here. Again, the t-shirt is very weathered. Even more weathered looking than it looks on video. Really nice job. I really love the t-shirt. She's got all of her uh, ammo there. And it even has the number 42. How much power she has left in the gun. So, and you can see the top. The scope is actually taped down. Where she can find Newt. Okay, back up here, the other side of the shirt. And we'll get to the main event here. So, her portrait. Now, I know there was some controversy with her portrait, saying she didn't look like her, she looked too young. Um, my take on it is that they made the face of Ripley in the first movie with the hair of the second movie. So to me, it looks very much like Sigourney Weaver, um, but it is a younger version of her, which is fine with me. Um, I think the portrait is actually pretty fantastic. Um, as far as the details on the portrait, you can see there's sweat there, along with some bruising. Um, the hair is fantastically detailed. Can see right there it's extremely well done um, there is sweat on her forehead you know that's Sigourney Weaver it's it's really really good um, get to the left other side here yeah guys I mean to me that's 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 her And all the straps around her. Turn to the back here. Back of the hair. Again, the hair is fantastic. Um, and just the back. This is the... Um, let me go one more shot of her. That's her. I'm going to get Newt. This is the uh, bonus edition, guys. So this did come with this extra piece here, which is really, really cool. I really dig this. Um, little aliens logo on the bottom. And a little disgusting creature coming out of there. It's very wet looking, which is great. Um... Really nice extra piece. Really fantastic. Goes great. So, there she is, guys. Prime One Studio, collaboration with Blitzway. Ellen Ripley, quarter-scale statue. She's about 21 inches tall, so she's not a, a huge footprint. Um, if you're a fan of uh, this movie, fan of her, um, get it. It's really, really good. You won't be disappointed. Thanks to Chris, uh, Batman Statue Collector, for allowing me to review this for you guys. Have a great day. Take care. 
Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.